Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to log into a website on a web browser control in VB. Um, you can use this for any website you want, or if you're trying to assign text to a specific text box, um, it will work either way on basically any site. Today I'm going to be using Gmail. Um, I already went ahead and made a new Gmail account just for this tutorial. Uh, so this is the account I'm going to be using for this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a form like this. What I have is two labels, two text boxes, a button, and a web browser. Um, you can hide your web browser, like make it turn visible to false or whatever. Um, I'm going to leave the web browser here just so you guys can see what's going on in the web browser when I'm uh, running it. So um, yeah, create this form and then what we're going to do is go to Gmail and copy the link at the top. This is the link to the login page. So whatever site you're doing, just make sure you grab that link and then go to the web browser and put it into the URL box. <laughs> And basically what that's going to do is it's going to bring us to the login page in the web browser control. Um, so now we need to get the HTML values of these two text boxes and this button. So um, I'm just going to inspect element on Google Chrome. Um, if you don't use Google Chrome, if you use Firefox, you can use Firebug and do the same thing. Uh, if you use Internet Explorer, then download Google Chrome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. The first one we're going to do is the email. So, grab the ID for this text box. It looks like for Gmail, it's just email with a capital E. So, let's click our button and bring us to the code. So I'm going to give myself some room so you guys can see the code a little better. Um, the first thing we're going to do is do web, web browser one dot document dot get element, oh crap, sorry, dot get elements by IDs and then put in the ID of the text box and then do dot inner text equals text box one dot text. So basically what this is going to do is if we run this and we type in that email, copy that, paste it, if we click login, it's going to put that email into the text box. So now we just need to do the same thing for the password. So you can either just copy and paste this, I'm just going to write it out so you guys can see. Dot document dot get, uh, why do I keep doing that? Dot get elements by IDs. And I'm just going to leave that blank for a second. Inner text equals text box 2.text. Sorry, I'm on a new laptop, so I'm not quite used to this keyboard yet. Um, so now we need to get the ID for the password. So just right click the password box and click inspect element, and it will bring you straight to it. Looks like the ID for this is pass with a capital PWD. So we're just going to input that right here. WD. So now this is going to do the same thing that the email is doing. It's just going to take the password from this text box and input it into the website. So now we need to write a line of code to click the login button, which is right here. So we're going to get the ID of this button, and it looks like it's sign in with a capital I. So go back to your code and do web browser one dot document dot get element by ID and put in the ID of the button crap and then do dot oh not inner text we're gonna invoke a member um you'll see why in a second because instead of assigning a html value or um an input to the thing we're actually 
um, interacting with the elements on the web page. So we're basically invoking them. So do invoke member and then open parentheses and open quotes and you're going to put click. Basically what this piece of code is telling the web browser to basically click this HTML element with this ID. So if we run this, and I'm just going to copy and paste that email again, and I'm going to type in my password. And so now if we click login, it's going to assign the email to the email, password to the password, and it's going to click this button. So I'm going to test it. So we have an error here. Oh, I put sign in. I put sign IDs. It needs to be sign in. All right. So let's try this again. All right. So as you can see, it signed me right in. Um, that's basically it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in a comment below. Um, this is my first tutorial and I'm definitely going to be making more so just stay tuned and good luck.